uh, still it is in deployment progress. Once it is uh, done, uh, the thing that whatever we given for the logical SQL Server instance deployment, uh, we could uh, view that. Post that, uh, we can able to see the only the server. Okay. So this use case, what we talked about just before, we, normally you will get you no know, cost saving uh, prospect of okay so this is the time we can deploy only the database so after some time you got the backup and after some time the client say that you create a database empty database that you want to uh, from the application to database the uh, you see, once the development has done, the application connectivity and the testing and all, it is going to take time, right? So once this, you know, given the application uh, stakeholders to deploy the database, then only you're going to deploy. By the time you're not going to pay anything. So it is, you know, completely same of the cost. So this is the one thing you have to keep in mind. mind. So what I'm going to do now, just uh, it is called deploy now, go to this, uh, uh, go to the resource option. As of now, go to the resource group and under the resource group, you can see that uh, database uh, server. Okay, only the server is there. Okay, we'll just navigate and see the databases. There is no databases at all. There is no database at all. So, how we can able to you know take that you know backups and all? We'll see. Okay, uh, tomorrow I'm just going to explore this one. Now. Uh, database you are going to create. So how database you are going to create, you saw, right? So one thing you can, you can go to go and overview option and create it now. Okay, let's say you have backup. Okay, so you have backup, that backup is available, that backup is available in our storage system. So that you can able to import here. So that I will explore it. Now create the database in the existing one. Okay, we'll do that uh, part. Okay, just click on create. So you are going to create the database. And even you can able to apply. Uh, this is a free database for the testing. Okay, so yeah. It is a database name that uh, we need to provide a database name here. Okay, so Dell DB database name only we have to provide. Just click on review and create it. Okay, nothing to provide. Why? Because you already deployed the logical SQL Server instance, right? Just need to you know deploy it. This is, you know, case two, right? So this is, you know, case two, okay? So likewise, uh, you will get, you know, uh, only data DB related and deployment related DOS pieces, okay? Most of the case, you will get this work only, okay? So after that, okay, so different uh, script execution and, you know, giving of the things, uh, permission and that, it is a different, okay, we are exploring that part, okay. Let, let me, you know, uh, walk through that uh, on-premises on and Azure SQL comparison and the properties of the both the uh, ads, okay. So let's uh, go to this resource part, okay, so go to the resource part and try to you know, connect your database instance server. By the time, what we need to do, and just go to the large SQL server instance and uh, see this database. Okay, let it, let me, it, uh, maybe it is still time to reflect uh, post deployment, but yeah, it is there now, okay? So just again, click on this database, take the logical SQL server instance, take the logical SQL. Before that, what I want to see, show you. So there is no, uh, yeah, there is no uh, 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 network uh, whitelisting process here. Uh, it is not, you know, added. Okay, when you are trying to connect from the, um, a management studio, which is not going to connect because of, uh, because of uh, the firewall restriction. Okay, so let me uh, open up this management studio.
it's going to take a bit time actually. Okay, so. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just trying to connect my uh, management studio. Okay. So just uh, give this uh, and provide a password. Okay. So it's definitely going to throw the error. And uh, <clears throat> let me show one thing. Okay. So I just given this, you know, allow resources, right? Just say I'm uncheck and save it. Okay. And I'm going to try to connect okay i'm just canceling this uh so what is it is going to throw the error okay just uh, click on to connect So here you can able to add this IP and you can able to add from here also. Okay. So two ways you can able to add that one. Okay. So what it is going to do when you are going to sign in, okay, which is going to add your public IP in the portal, which is going to add in the public IP in the portal. So while signing, which is going to navigate our credential, okay to approve this uh, signing methodology okay just uh, click this uh, uh, subscription id uh, what i just uh, taken uh, once it is done okay let's wait Instance name got changed here. Just let's take the instance name. Okay. Uh, DevDB. Just take this instance name. Go to this. Right. Again. Sign in methodology. It's just browser issue. Okay. Something which uh... okay authentication complete. You can return to the application field filter course. Okay, that's it. Nothing. Okay, so if you can see uh, this, I can able to change uh, my uh, public. IP just something you can change for you know identification okay this is my name and the IP it is going to add okay so just okay now it is going to connect okay so let's go and see this in the portal okay where we need to see that set right under this you'll see this one see here my public IP and so when you're trying to log in which is going to see expand this okay and see here your database is going to available now the part what we just initially discussed okay comparison and the properties that you want to see right just connect your database and your local server just connect and verify it so first and foremost thing what you need to observe is okay expand this databases in the databases you will get you know user defined databases and the system defined database master model msdb timdb okay now go to this 
expand the so user defined database okay you have user defined databases i am okay i have i have the user defined database expand this one you will see the only the master database you will have you know tmdb msdb and all okay so microsoft azure has giving only the option to master database because of okay so the back end model database functioning msdb functioning and the tmdb function back and they're going to manage it okay so that's what uh, they're keeping only the master database and the rest of the things is as usual common okay and what we need to observe here okay so just minimize this expanding again coming to this you know agent related you cannot able to see any agent kind of thing here okay and also uh, you'll get you know cross query databases here okay cross query database okay uh, let's say you are, are trying to fetch the data from uh, you know this database so let's see that uh, whether you can able to connect or not cpid okay so here i could see only one um, database so we'll see go and uh, fetch 100 rows okay All right. See, uh, which is going to uh, give this uh, uh, select uh, star from, okay? You can, you are in a uh, something other database, okay? So you are in a ADV de database, but you are going to select uh, the C uh, CPDB database. So if you going to execute, this is going to work. Okay, so if you are going to do the similar kind of thing here, okay, which is not going to work out, which is not going to work out. Okay, so let's say you have this uh, table information and all. If you are trying to do some cross query and use database also, it is not going to work. Let's say this uh, new query. Use DevDB. Okay, this query is not going to work actually. Okay. So if you are in a master, try to use database, which, which is going to throw the error. Okay, so this, this cross query, you know, uh, querying process, which is not going to work. The other thing is agent is not available. Linked server, DB mail, you will have some thing related to uh, always on, okay, uh, replication. A linked services okay so you if you want to create the linked services and all you could not able to see this one only logins in the database rest of the things uh, you, you are not going to see this so this is a, some kind of limitation but what is the you new know, exact business use case that we are going to use as i said if it is you know startup okay you want to utilize the database or dbml database okay uh, and uh, it's the lesser cost of you know and other managed services you'll good to go omitting off in this kind of services like you know um, always on availability and uh, linker services db mail agent uh, if you don't have any such requirements yes this is the right choice of your environment to test develop and deploy run your production non-production workloads as well as long as you are not considering of these things and coming to this um, uh, uh, properties related okay so let's say uh, if you are uh, go and see this uh, properties related stuff okay so let me take this uh, any one of the database i could see this you know properties information okay so this this database property database level property information i could able to see this in option options like okay so only the few limited uh, options we have okay and i want to compare this thing same to the other on-premises uh, database server if i'm going to right click and see this you know properties information which is uh, you know somewhat uh, discrepancy we can able to see okay so whatever the thing that we can able to see which is not quite you know uh, different uh, of these two okay let me compare side by side also Okay, so this is your, you know, 
on-premises database, you'll have log shipping mirroring. Okay, so you you cannot able to see this you know status. You cannot be able to see owner. You have owner also not able to see size of the databases, securable level, number of users and all. Okay, so it is going to support only for the number of users for. Okay, so yeah, you can see this you know change tracking and change tracking permissions we have. You know, extended properties you have mirroring, you do we cannot able to see query store. You have here also you have query store. Okay. Both the thing uh transaction like extended properties, extended properties you have here also you have extended properties and uh, permissions information, you'll also get this permission information, something a uh, similar kind of approach. And the change tracking, you'll get in a change tracking as well. Options, or uh, you have options. Uh, and you know configuring SLO, okay, server uh, licensing factors here. You want to change something uh, related to uh, collision settings over here. You can able to change these options, okay. Even uh, you also get and you can log in this uh, ID directly, okay. So these are all the things that we can able to compare, okay. And the other thing, okay, you SP helps help DB and all which is not working. Uh, Okay, SP help DB. Okay, so we cannot able to uh, fetch that uh, help DB help files. Few few files we are going to file site. So which we cannot able to see in uh, this uh, Azure uh, SQL and okay when you go for on premises one all these things it is going to work. So these are the slight uh, things that uh, compare uh, help DB. Okay, we can able to execute this hopefully. Okay, so it is going to show the details and also the sp underscore help file. Okay, so which is executing is happening. Once it is done, we can able to see the output information. So these are the things that uh, we just need to discuss uh, uh, today. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. And uh, tomorrow, what exactly we are going to discuss? Uh, see here, help we help DB, which is going to show. Even if you can check this uh, files also, which is going to reflect, could not find the stored processor, has we help file. Okay, so maybe files. Yeah, which is executing now. Okay. Uh, what I want to discuss tomorrow, uh, the logical uh, sql server instance that we deployed right so i'll make it ready for the existing backup uh, restoration import option export option and we'll just go and see this all this uh, options uh, that we need to discuss you know one by one uh where it is going to help us uh, when we are going to utilize that you know all those things we are going to discussing uh this part so, so any questions uh malaya any questions yeah, that you want to ask yeah if we uh uh, take this whole session for one month. And can I mm -hmm. keep it my uh, Azure D Azure Word me also? Is it work out? Or I'm mm -hmm. for the whole I uh, see after the completion of the course full course. Mm -hmm. Uh can my regime as the uh, Azure Admin? Is it uh, work out? Yeah, definitely. Hundred percent, yeah. Azure <laughs> admin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You will you will be you know work uh, as a architect level content okay see I am not focusing you know most of the things you know theoretical part I'm just taking you know reversal method in a use case and do the things and deploy and discuss 